Amazon loses a chicken fight with Apple. Facebook for your iPad, you've had it all along. LG's entire 2011 Android lineup is leaked. And the new Android Marketplace and Google Videos with Soldier Knows Best, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Jack Reds. Hey, welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Graham Hancock. And I'm Jackie Talbot. And later on in the show, Chris Jennings will chat with YouTube superstar Mark Watson, a.k.a. Soldier Knows Best. That's right. They'll be taking a look at the new Android mobile marketplace as well as Google Videos. But first, let's take a look at the top mobile app and hardware news that you clicked on over at twitter.com slash appjudgment. Make sure you follow us over there to influence what we're talking about on the show. First up, Amazon relents to Apple and removes the in-app Kindle Store link. Both the Wall Street Journal and the Kobo app fell in line earlier this week. Now Amazon and Nook have updated their apps to comply with Apple's terms of service. So basically, you, you, when you were once able to purchase uh, Kindle books in the app, you cannot do that anymore. They, they removed the button to do in-app purchasing to make things right. a whole lot easier for... Uh, you know, for Apple. For <laughs> Apple and their wallets. <laughs> Essentially, what happened was earlier this year, or it might have been late last year, when uh, Apple had this policy change mm -hmm. about in-app purchasing, essentially as it uh, relates to publishers, if you're going to buy a book, a magazine, or anything like that through an app, right. you have to do it through in-app purchasing and not link to some external store like Kindle and Nook right. and the Wall Street Journal had been doing. Right. So basically, they, they, they offer this in-app purchasing and then they decided, they figured out, oh, we'll, we can make some more money off of this. So then <laughs> all of a sudden, like. that's why it feels a little bit shady, you know, because it's something that all of a sudden happened that, yeah. you know, now you can't. A lot of people were kind of upset about this, but I right. think it's, for the most part, it's blown over and now we're just kind of seeing all of these apps kind of come into a compliance. Right. Uh, Kindle now as, as, is one of the latest ones. I think Google is the is the one holdout so far that hasn't. hasn't <laughs> Google's upset. holding strong. Yeah. yeah. So. Next up, images of the official Facebook for iPad app have been leaked, and since we tweeted this story, the people over at This Is My Next have released a video of the interface. You can access the app, which you've had all along inside of the Facebook for iPhone right. app, by jailbreaking your iPad. Uh, but at this point, you won't have any luck since Facebook is now blocking the ability to log in from the beta right. app. Right. So basically, on your iPad this entire time, when you download the iPhone app for Facebook, you could jailbreak and get the fancy, amazing iPad app for Facebook. That's right. And it looks great. It's, it's yeah, sort of a... Yeah, we some footage. It's a full-screen version of, uh, of Facebook there, and it... It, it's taking advantage of all of the resolution you've right. got there. When in the past, the reason Facebook hasn't had an official iPad app thus far has been that Mark Zuckerberg has very famously said that the iPad is a mobile device mm -hmm. and we already have a website that well, is Well, but obviously not. If they're, devices. <laughs> if they're making, you know, if they have this hidden iPad app, then, then you know, they obviously wanted so to have something. So they're working on it. Yeah, well, so. I think everyone kind of knew that yeah. they were working on something. Yeah. Uh, they just didn't think it would be as easy to uh, leak or to find hidden inside of another app. I feel like they do that on purpose. <laughs> they just hide it might have been, Yeah, it's a lot of hype. Um, we can yeah. expect this, I guess, to roll out in the next couple of weeks now that the cat is out of the yeah, bag. Yeah, exactly. People so, are going to get patient, impatient now. That's right. Yeah. People have seen it. Now they want to download it. That's true. And <laughs> finally, speaking of leaks, here are a few renders of LG's 2011 Android lineup. The people over at PocketNow.com released these six images of a phone slated to release in the second half of this year. That's right. These aren't actual are. phone images. They are these renders are 3D that people renders. created. Right, because they have this, you know, the article mentions uh, this huge lineup of the Prada K2, the Univia, the Fantasy, uh, the Victor, the Gelato, which is this the little, little one guy there. on the right right here, <laughs> um, the E2, and the not rendered image of the K. Right, the, and on the actual post, there was a big question mark, right. and they said the K, but we, they know that phone is coming out. Right. Uh, and it's supposed to have some pretty impressive specs, including a screen that's supposed to have a higher resolution than an iPhone 4. Than the More Retina More pixels display. than a, a, a Retina display. I mean, so. basically, this is a, a way for them to just be like, okay, we haven't made it yet, but check out we where swear, we're guys, coming these are going to be great. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, trust us. I think the rumor is all of these phones will be out by the end of the year, right. uh, probably ready for the holiday shopping season. And compete with a... Compete with another that phone that's coming that, out that at the end of this year. That's something that's coming out. Uh, I, iPhone, iPhone 5? iPhone 5, I yeah, think that's yeah. what I call it. You guys know. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming up next, Chris Jennings chats with YouTube superstar Mark Watson of Soldier Knows Best. So stick around for a look at the new Android mobile marketplace as well as the new Google Videos app. But first, it's time for another search and rescue with Annie Gauss. 
What's up, AJ Crew? It's Annie. Let's get social. First, a report from the App Judgment Research Foundation, found at facebook.com slash appjudgment. For iOS users, BMX Free was the clear winner over Dark Runner in the free games category. Seems like you guys would rather bike than run. And I don't blame you. Running hurts even for stickmen. And for Android users, unanimously you liked Lane Splitter over Missile Defender. We learn more about you every day. Keep it coming on Facebook at facebook.com slash appjudgment or in the YouTube comment section here. And now it's time for another search and rescue. The segment or app judges everywhere join together and form a mob, a very helpful mob. Your next mission, Twitter bomb this man with your tech help. And this one's for the photo wizards out there. Max Solve is looking for an iOS app to adjust color balance and lift shadows. Photoshop Mobile does not do that. All right, you know what to do. That's MaxSolve on Twitter, and don't forget to use the hashtag AppJudgment so we can give you props for a good response in Thursday's episode. We all know that most guys hate shopping for clothes, but luckily, there's Jack Threads. Jack Threads is a members-only online shopping club that does the dirty work for you and saves you a boatload of cash. Every day, Jack Threads gives you access to the hottest brands at up to 80% off what you'd pay in a store. Brands like Kid Robot, The Hundreds, and American Apparel for way less than you'd find anywhere else. Now, Jack Threads is a private club, but fortunately, App Judgment's got the hookup. Go to jackthreads.com slash appjudge, and you can become a member right away. Not to mention, it's free to join. Hit up jackthreads.com slash appjudge, and you'll instantly start saving without ever having to leave the house. What do you get when you cross a geek and a soldier? No, there is no punchline. You get YouTube superstar of all things tech-related. Please welcome Soldier Knows Best, a.k.a. Mark Watson. What's going on? Mark, great to have you here. And today, Mark, we wanted to talk a little bit about your take on the new Android Marketplace and how it fits in with the new Google Videos app. I think the new Marketplace is awesome. I think when you first launch it up, you're going to kind of get a, a flashback to Windows Phone 7 if you ever use one of those phones because it has a new tiled interface. And um, I think the tiled interface does a really good job at highlighting some of the best applications that are in the Marketplace and kind of showcasing them off a little bit better. Um, and also, too, uh, Google did a really good job with this new Android Marketplace as far as making it a little bit faster, a little bit more streamlined when you're actually going to be looking and searching for applications. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm, I'm a big fan of the way that the, the Windows 7 look and feel is, and I think it's great that they integrated that into the new app. And so I know it hasn't been out very long, but they do have the new video app built into the new Marketplace. So tell me a little bit about how you've been using that the past few weeks and what you think are some of the highlights of it. Oh yeah, and so in the new marketplace, you can also you know buy books as well. But now you can also rent movies. And once you rent the movies, they'll actually move over to the new movies application, and that allows you to watch a movie on your phone or on a tablet if it's compatible with it, and uh, be able to stream movies to your phone or to your device. But also, you can download them to those devices as well if you're going to be somewhere without an internet connection or be ready to get on a plane or something like that. And so the movies app is pretty basic; only has a couple things to it, but it does the job. I see. So it seems like it's very integrated. Like you said, you can save it for later, you know, download it to your phone to have to watch later, and it integrates with your different devices, correct? Yes, and not only that, it also, too, if say you finally get to your final destination, you want to finish watching the movie on a computer or on a bigger monitor or a screen, you can actually log into your YouTube account, which is probably the same as your Gmail account, and pick up the movie right where you left off. So that's another plus to the application. That is very nice. I can see that being really useful when you want to watch it on a larger screen or you know, if you can't get through an entire movie. I think that's really smart of them to integrate oh, yeah. that. Yeah, great. So like I said, it hasn't been out very long. Some people haven't had their hands on it yet. Uh, is there anything else that anyone needs to know out there about Google Video and the new marketplace if they haven't gotten it yet? It seems like you really like it. I like the way it looks. It seems very functional. Uh, anything else anyone should know before they get out there and try it out? No, I just think it's fast and smooth. It's ready to go. So I think everybody will like it. OK. Hey, I agree. I like it. Mark likes it. You guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, you should definitely get out there and check it out for yourself. Mark, thanks a lot for coming out today. You know, We really appreciate talking to you. And Hopefully, we can have you back on the show sometime real soon. Sure. Thanks for having me. Love the show. All right. Thanks. And you can make sure to catch Mark and Soldier Knows Best at youtube.com slash Soldier Knows Best. And watch live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time at soldiernowsbest.com. You can get social with Mark over at Twitter, twitter.com slash Soldier Knows Best. And also, don't forget to watch App Judgment. You can catch us every Tuesday and Thursday. And get in touch with us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and revision3.com slash app judgment. Check it out. We'll see you next Thursday.